It's number five on Eurovision Week 6, Joe. I can't believe we made it this far. Me too. It's pretty wild. And we've got to be getting close to the beginning of Eurovision in general, right? <laughs> yeah. How many like 2024. It's got to be... It's got to be almost time for the new season. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. It's right? Up. We're uh, gonna watch it. Yeah, yeah. I, who knows? Maybe when this comes out, it might have already started. I don't know. That's true. Probably should have looked into it more. All right. So we have combined two lists because someone was very kind and donated us some money, but we had already done two of the songs on their list. Yes. So we're doing the remaining three, and then we took two more from someone else's list. Yes. Should we tell the people whose lists they are, or just keep that I a don't secret? even know. The person who donated didn't give a name. Okay, so we don't know about the person who donated, yeah. but the person who we grabbed, uh, grabbed the yes. list from uh, is P3TR25. I think it's Peter25 is oh, going to be right. my guess. Uh, they have commented... About a bazillion times, and we we took two of your songs. So when you yeah. see them, they're like, "Oh, that was me!" Congrats, yeah. Pete. Laul number seitse, La Forza, esitab Elina Nechayeva. That 3D mapping on yeah, that dress there, huh? That is cool. That's some good 3D projection. She's going up top like a little Tweety Bird. All the way up there. Well, it seems to be a sort of opera. Operatic. Uh, operatic. Guy. Uh, some sort of Oprah voice? Is that what <laughs> yeah. we're talking about here? No, I, I don't know anything about, uh, well, I wouldn't say anything, but I don't know much. Joe doesn't know anything. I don't know. Anything. I'll take it from here. <laughs> oh, Mike knows all about opera. I know everything. Mike knows all about opera. You know, Mozart and, uh, you know, the movie Amadeus mostly. Is that even opera? I don't even know. But yeah, right, okay, opera so, in that. Oh, whatever. So she, uh, she's just standing there. And I like this. She can't move. <laughs> no. <laughs> she has to stay right there. Although, you know what? Uh, maybe I'm jumping to a conclusion, but I would love for there to be a group of people to come and lift her dress up like uh what's it called? Like like the, like parachute, the parachute in school. You know? Not really like that, but it would be kinda like that. And then she could move and she would have to need an army of troops to carry her. No, no, no. What I want, Joe, yeah, is I want her to be already connected to some line and she's gonna get tugged up into the ceiling. Ooh. Yeah. Like a flying ghost. Let's find out.
Wow. You know, that was that was high. I know, and I'm that was glass shatteringly high. I'm glad it happened. Yeah, she held it steady. She got up there. It was like once she could, once she got up there, it was it was smooth, you know. Yeah, but it's it was you can tell it was a little challenging to transition from her lower mid range voice into the all up top. Yeah, man. Uh, what it, a what, that song is like. Uh, the it's like the try. You know what? It kind of makes me think of like a. Yeah, it's a very triumphant song. It is, yeah. but not necessarily a positive. That, well, a positive triumph, but more of like uh, a, it was a bit of sorrow. Yeah, like like uh, the the our hero has to sacrifice uh, maybe his or her life to uh, to accomplish the goal at the end of the film. Well, that, yeah, that's Joe, the feeling it gives me. It's like the post war, and the, her her team won, but at what cost? Oh yeah, you know? or or maybe that moment where it's like the only way our my people can win is by my sacrifice. It's the realization of the need of your ultimate yeah. sacrifice. That's that. Well, that's what that song inspires in my heart when I hear it. Yeah. You know what I'd love to know since it's not in English, I'm assuming, right? <laughs> I didn't think it was. <laughs> sometimes gonna... sometimes I've said, well, that song's not in English, and we actually are, it was, and we just are <laughs> idiots. So uh, may, maybe I, I'm just making sure. But uh, I just love it for it to be, you know, it's mostly just like a bunch of random stuff. It's actually about like finding a bay in the club, and it has nothing to do with <laughs> it. Not, it's not emotionally moment, like momentous at all. It's just like a party anthem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's just singing like, and I saw him, and then I, he took me home. Home, and you're like, oh wow, that's that's less exciting. No, but it, it has that is as intense. Well, I love, Very I love cinematic. I love how they utilized the dress, and you know she's clearly an opera singer, and they don't dance. They just stand. They just stand there. I, I don't. I haven't seen every opera. There's I not dance in opera. There's dancing operas. There? there might be dancers, but they're not singing and dancing. That's I, a musical. That's be, a play. <laughs> that'd be very hard to do. Would be. There's definitely dancing in operas. I don't know about the singers dancing. That's what I'm I guess saying. I'll give you that. So, they. Uh, but you know, Eurovision is a full-on huge performance. So they had to figure out how are we gonna make this non-dancing opera star look incredible, and they did a really good job. Man, what if she? Did a tearaway on that massive dress, and then uh, and then we got some dance moves. To I it. was waiting for some a big twist, a big plot twist. Yeah, there some wasn't. dancers are waiting under there, oh. and they come out when she whoosh, reveals them. Or it would just be people under there, and they would just be kind of shapes, and they'd move around underneath. Them. <laughs> That's cool too. That's weird. <laughs> it would be um, weird. So she's definitely standing on something, right? No, her legs are about seven <laughs> feet long. I, she's the tallest person ever. Is yeah, actually right. what she is. Yeah, I think she's nine foot twelve, uh, one inch taller than Robert Wadlow. Wait, no, that'd be a foot taller. Uh, and uh, yeah, she has extremely long legs, but a very average sized torso. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that you know Eurovision does not discriminate and let her on the yeah, show. Allowed allowed this giant to be a singer on the. They're show. They're not heightists. Definitely. Right? Well, maybe. It could, it could <laughs> wow. be. They're only letting tall people on, maybe. Not <laughs> yeah, letting giants. any shorter people. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow, Estonia. Yeah, you know, that's a, that's a place I know little about. I, mean, I know very little about Estonia. I mean, since we're here, and this is Eurovision, so we always have to tell everyone all the facts we know about. It's a, it's yeah. a, it's a country near, no, across the water from uh, Finland. Finland. We have talked about Estonia. I'm sure we have. Because I was talking about to getting that boat ride from That's Finland right. over. That's right. And also, I believe I've seen on Instagram that Estonia has some of the most darling buildings that I would love to uh, get to meet someday. Uh. Hook a, hook a guy up. Yeah, can I meet one of these buildings uh, in these cute little towns in Estonia? Yep. Yeah, look, they look nice. That sounds great. I'd love to get over there. Maybe once the weather clears mm. up. Yeah, summertime. All right. All right. Let's go. Moving on. <laughs> 